Well, if you've ever had your eyes examined, you've seen one of those bad boys plenty of times and had to look through them while they sit there and dialed all kinds of numbers. Is one better or is two better? Well, we're talking to Dr. Jason Wilson with Long Beach Precision Vision. How are you, sir? Very good, and yourself? I'm doing very well. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, uh, and about your, your business here. Uh, so I grew up in Long Beach, uh, went to optometry school in UAB at Birmingham. Uh, I was there for about six years and came back down with my wife, who's also from Long Beach. Um, we live right up the street. I've been here for seven years, and we have two children, and awesome. pretty happy. Two offices, and stay very busy. Well, we talk, let's talk about eye exams. Um, when so, how often should someone get an eye exam, and what can they expect when they come in? Okay. Um, the AOA pediatric guidelines recommend an exam between six and twelve months for infants between one and three years and between three and five years after that. Uh, and then every year after age five. And then so annually for a young adults on through up into the senior age. Okay, and what can someone expect? I mean, they make an appointment to come in and get an eye exam. What can they expect when they come to visit you? Um, so they can expect to fill out an extensive medical history, including medications and their systemic disease processes and medications will be reviewed. Uh, they'll have a preliminary workup by a technician. They'll have a refraction using this piece of equipment here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the better one or two part. And then we'll do a health assessment with a couple of different pieces of equipment as well. Mm -hmm. um, now, as far as getting um, the exam done, uh, it is uh, important because um, there are different things that can happen. As, as the older that we get, as far as the eyes, different diseases you have to be aware of. And I know one of the things that always seems to be aggravating is when you have to go in and get your eyes dilated because um, <laughs> it takes yes, a little. Sir. But uh, that's an important part of the exam. It really is. It's probably one of the most important parts of the exam. It allows us to look at the retina, which is the part of the eye that actually sees, along with the nerve, which transmits information from the retina to the brain. And then other parts, such as the lens for cataract form, it's very difficult to see that without a good dilation. Now, you mentioned uh, a while ago that, that you get a complete history, have them fill out uh, information. Um, I, and I know that one of the things in particular is knowing what different types of medications that they take because those have a tendency, I'm sure, to have an effect on your vision. Absolutely. There's several different medications that can have detrimental effects on the eyes that we actually have to report back to the prescribing doctor to let them know if there's a presence or absence of those effects. And so a lot of patients come to us just for that type of exam, not necessarily for a glasses exam. What kind of um, medications? I mean, how about high blood pressure? Uh, so not necessarily the medications, but the disease itself can actually cause some damage to the back of the eye. So frequently with patients with uncontrolled hypertension will have bleeding in the back of the eye. But one of the more common medications that we see for exams is called Plaquenil or hydroxychloroquine. It's a medication that's used to treat a bunch of different diseases, mostly rheumatologic in nature. So lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and it can cause some potentially visually devastating effects in the back of the eye that we have to keep a close watch for. So that's why it's important to know exactly what type of medications they're on. Exactly. And so you how know what much. you're dealing with. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, what other diseases are there? I mean, you, you hear about glaucoma. Yes, sir. Uh, everything like that. Uh, what other types of diseases can you... Um, do you deal with as far as with the eye? Oh, um, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, uh, cataracts, uh, retinal tears and detachments are some of the more common ones that we see. Dry eye is of course another big topic here lately that is a front of the eye condition but it also can cause some visually devastating effects as well as require a lot of different types of treatment to fix it. I was going to say, are there treatments that can be done to fix these situations? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's medication or surgical procedures, um, the key is early intervention because the sooner you catch pretty much all of these conditions, the better off your outcome tends to be. Okay, because there's one thing that I have been dealing with for the past year now in my right eye are floaters. Yes, sir. And um, I've heard that uh, you really, you know, you're just supposed to get used to them. You really can't, you know, there is a surgery that's available, but uh, it's yes, very... It's very invasive. Yes. But at the same time, floaters and a retinal detachment can have very similar symptoms. Mm -hmm. But the patient don't, doesn't always realize what's going on, and so we can tell a difference when we look in the back of the eye. Okay. So if it's, uh, if, so it's something that can be treated? Yes, sir, potentially. Okay. Make me an appointment. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> because it, and there, there are different situations depending on 
Uh, I, don't, I don't know the, my environment that I'm around. Mm -hmm. Whether, uh, I mean, there's some mornings I'll get up, not a problem. Mm -hmm. But as the day goes along, my eyes are getting tired. I get, uh, you know, it gets hot. It, it gets annoying. It's just like, it's almost like a hair yeah. going back and forth kind and back and forth. around in your vision. Exactly, like, it, like it's doing right now. You can't see it, but I definitely can. <laughs> and it's probably there. <laughs> it's probably there. So, uh, you know, it's, again, one of the issues that I have to deal with. Um, because I, I did have surgery back in 2004, so I uh, and, and had done quite well up to the last couple of years. Excellent. Uh, and and doing the, and uh, with that, what is the difference in uh, vision and medical insurance? I know a lot of people think, well, can I use insurance? Yes, to do sir. This? We do get that question a lot. So vision insurance is for basically like a well visit. So if you have a primary care doctor and you go and you have lab work done and they're just checking you out, check your weight, your blood pressure, review your medications. That's what a vision exam does. So mm -hmm. we do a wellness visit of the health of the eye and then also the glasses prescription. Um, a medical exam, if you come in, let's say you have those floaters, like we would use the medical insurance even though technically it's part of the eye. Mm -hmm. And we would be less worried about glasses and contacts, but more worried about what is going on with the eye from a health perspective. And trying to find out if there's something else that I can do if it's yes. a... Now, if, it's a, if it is a detached retina, yes. is that something that could be taken care of with uh, surgery or treatment? Or? Potentially, depending on how soon you catch it. Mm -hmm. um, there are some that are just too far gone by the time we actually look at them because people think, oh, my vision goes out on Friday. It's, it's not back on Saturday. I'll see the doctor on Monday. And by then, a lot of times, it can be too late. Really? Yes. Um, so we do recommend, you know, we have an emergency line. Um, that's the after hours that you can call any time, and we try to see people sooner rather than later. Yeah. So what is the importance of the difference between yearly eye exams versus going to the dentist? Oh, they're very analogous. So the dentists were very good at encouraging people to get those six-month well visits because they're coming in, doing your routine cleaning, looking for cancer and things like that. Well, we're doing the same thing with those annual wellness exam or those vision exams. So we're looking for cancer and other eye conditions that can happen. And then also looking at the glasses prescription to see if there needs to be any adjustments. Now I know a lot of eye problems can be caused by the environment that you're in too. Absolutely. Yeah, so um, between the type of work that we're doing, especially in this post-COVID situation, um, more computer work, uh, longer hours, less commuting, um, we tend to be more dry, more eye strain, more digital eye disease. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of different problems. Yes. And if somebody wants to make an appointment, just call the number on your screen on the, on the, uh, the screen right now. Of course, you can also find out some information on the website here at uh, Long Beach Precision Vision. Dr. Wilson, thank you so much yes, for your sir. time. You have some eye issues or, hey, I mean, you just need to make an, uh, your yearly eye exam or something like that. Good thing to do. Don't even think about your teeth all the time. Think about your eyes, too. They're important. Come here in Long Beach.